got a package today. I uh, wasn't expecting anything today, but I think I have an idea what this is. I guess I'm going to do a real quick unboxing of this. So it is what I thought it was. This is the detailing rig from Mechanic. Uh, they were nice enough to send this out to me early to uh, check it out. I'm just gonna do an unboxing and kind of show you what it looks like and what it comes with. Uh, I'm gonna do a full review on this once it warms up a little bit. Right now I think it's uh, right around 40 degrees. So it's not exactly, you know, perfect weather to go out and detail any of the Jeeps, but I can show you what the detailing rig looks like. We have something in a box here. And then it appears to be the detailing rig itself. So I'm guessing in this box here, we have our wheels and hardware, and all of that. These are some really cool wheels. There appears to be a whole bunch of them. I'm not sure how many wheels this thing has. Then our padded foam rubber seat. This is really cool because it's not like a regular foam, like an open cell foam with a vinyl covering. This is a solid piece of foam so it can get wet without absorbing water. So we have everything out of the box. Um, looks like we can just take our seat pad and it snaps down onto these little round sections here to keep our seat on there. And then I think we're ready to put this together. What we're going to do is take our main frame part here and this U-shaped bracket. And it just slides on there. Give it a little tap so it actually pops on there. We're going to take our small angled brackets. And you'll notice that there's two different sized holes. So you wanna make sure that you have that oriented correctly. The small ones are gonna to be to the outside here. And you'll put in these Phillips head screws. Put the bolts through from the bottom. Okay, now that we have those to where they're sticking through, we can take our metal trays again. And at first glance, you would think that these are identical, but they're not. You need to look, and one of them has an extra hole. We're gonna go ahead and drop those down over. Take some of the supplied washers. Put over top of the bolts and some nylon lock nuts. I'm gonna put a 17 millimeter wrench down here on the bottom of the bolt. Then my impact driver on the nut here. Tighten that down. I'm gonna put the wheels up through the holes here. And you'll notice on the underside that these holes are squared and then on your casters there is a square and you'll line that up and it's going to hold that in place and again washer nylon lock nut Gonna put the cup holder on. He should be completely out of hardware at this point. If you have anything left, you missed something. And the bucket just sets in place back here. 
Just from first impressions of it, it seems like a really well-built stool. I mean, it's, it's really heavy duty. I really like the wheels on this thing. I think the wheels are really unique on this. Um, they just have a really cool design. Um, the frame itself and everything is really heavy duty. These uh, metal plates that you put down on the bottom of the cart, those things are really heavy. And of course, like I said, it has five wheels, so uh, you should be able to roll over anything and even on uneven surfaces and stuff. If you have like cracks and stuff in your driveway, if that's where you're using this. Um, you have these little holes built into the handles of the wash bucket so you can like hang your different products and stuff from. It has handles on the seat there. The seat's removable, as you saw. You have your cup holder. Um, it just, it has all kinds of cool features. It has that strainer in it. This became available for pre-order on March 10th and should start shipping out around April 1st. This seems like it's gonna be a really, really cool product. A huge thanks to everybody at Mechanic for sending this out to me. Uh, it's really cool that I got an early release of this to check it out and show it to all of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned to see a complete review on this and to see the Mechanic detailing rig in action when I actually get out and wash a couple of the project vehicles. If you came across this video and you're not one of my subscribers or you're just new to the channel, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. If uh, you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.